Hello there, YouTubers. I am Augusta Nastasio from Healing X Outreach Radio on the internet. We just did a program with Damian Reyes. It is December 27th, and um, we just had Christmas. And I'm going to do a second video on the Christmas date of December 25th and probably explain it from a more biblical approach and so um, I hope that this will be enlightening to some of you it, I've shared it with some others I did a presentation at our church on Sunday about it and a lot of people really received it well yes there is a way to come to December 25th from using the Bible alone and despite what the Watchtower says about uh, Sol Invicta, Saturnalia, if you look up information on um, uh, by Dr. William Tai, uh, he discusses that uh, both the Mithric religions did not have an equinox or solstice festival until, of course, Aurelian moved their festival from August to December in honor of the solstice so there were only two solar religions and neither of them had an equinox or a solstice religion anyway so the bible itself expresses the date of december 25th as a possible birth date for jesus or january 6th as my last uh, videos showed and um this is the approach from the bible alone in the book of luke chapter 1 verses 8 through 11 and verse 21 here is a scene of Zechariah and he's in the temple in Luke chapter 1 verses 8 through 11 and it reads and it came to pass that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his courts according to the custom of the priest's office his lot was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord and the whole multitude of the people were praying without at the time of incense. And there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. That's this depiction right there. And in verse 21 it says, And the people waited for Zechariah and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple. Here Zechariah is letting Elizabeth know what Gabriel let Zechariah know in the temple that she would be pregnant even though she was an old woman the child that she would bear would be john the baptist when this happened that is he went into the temple this was called the feast of atonement the people were out waiting as the description in leviticus chapter 16 verse 17 says and leviticus 16 17 says and there shall be no man in the tabernacle of the congregation when he goeth in to make an atonement in the holy place until he come out and so that is why the people were waiting they were waiting for Zechariah to come out when it does the feast of atonement occur well it only falls in october and that explains the january 6th date october 6th now what does october 6th have to do with january 6th you can has the same respect as December 25th. Yom Kippur, the Feast of Atonement, in 2012 fell on September 25th. You see right there. This is an advertisement from a university for Yom Kippur on September 25th. That is the Jewish holiday of Yom Kippur fell on September 25th in September uh, in 2012. So, it's held sometimes October 6th, sometimes it's held September 25th, uh, sometimes mid-September or early or mid-October. Depends on, of course, the lunar calendar. So, what does that have to do with Jesus' birth? Elizabeth is pregnant with John the Baptist, September 25th or October 6th. The Bible then goes on to say, that in the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, in the sixth month, that the angel Gabriel visits Mary. Luke chapter 1, verse 26. 
verse 30 and verse 36 it says and in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth and in verse 36 and behold thy cousin Elizabeth she hath also conceived a son in her old age and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren and here is a depiction of course of the angel Gabriel visiting Mary right there this is that depiction right there and this is of course Mary and Elizabeth enjoying the fact that they're going to be moms right here and so Elizabeth approaches Mary and of course she says that ever since Mary has come to see her that the child in her womb could not stop bouncing around you know uh, as babies do in their six month they're moving around but this baby was moving ex exorbitantly when she had a saw Mary because Mary was now announced by the angel Gabriel that she was pregnant six months from September 25th when Elizabeth conceived John and this should say Elizabeth conceived right here you'll see this calendar it's six months September 25th all the way till March 25th when Mary conceives so the sixth month of Elizabeth Mary conceives the baby Jesus Gabriel approaches Mary right there you see dates February 25th to March 25th is six months or once again it could have been April 6 six months from the October 6th date would be April 6 so Mary now is pregnant with child Catholics to this day and the Orthodox celebrate on March 25th and on April 6 the Annunciation of Mary it's called the Feast of the Annunciation Annunciation meaning the announcement the announcement from the angel Gabriel to Mary that she was pregnant with child on April 6 and March 25th which would be six months in Elizabeth's pregnancy depending when Yom Kippur took place either October 6 or September 25th how long does a woman have a child in her womb nine months nine months you see that so that is nine months so nine months from March 25th what do you get you get Christmas Day that's what you get right there folks Christmas Day December 25th or as the story of the 12 days of Christmas goes December 25th to January 6th is 12 days that's where we get the song the 12 days of Christmas because those are the two possible birth dates according to the Bible alone that Jesus was born Eastern Christians believed it was in January 6th that Jesus was born they call it Epiphany uh, we call it Three Kings Day and December 25th is when the Western Christians believe that he was born why did they believe that he was born scripture lays it out also the Roman records lay it out that this was the date because remember they were doing a census at the time and so when the early church had to do an a census they checked the Roman records and that's why the consensus went more towards December 25th because the Roman records declared that for Jesus birth so there you have it from scripture alone it all depends upon following the pregnancies right there in scripture Elizabeth's pregnancy with John remember John is the forerunner for Jesus Isaiah chapter 40 verse 2 says that I that he would be the man that would be making the highway straight for Yahweh the book of John says that, that scripture was fulfilled in John the Baptist not only when he was alive but when he was in the womb of Elizabeth he was making the way straight for Yahweh that is Emmanuel God with us Yeshua Yahweh of salvation he made the pathway straight even from the womb he was the forerunner for Jesus Christ in the pregnancy of Elizabeth which falls on either September 25th October 6th which leads to March 25th April 6th 
and finally Christmas Day, December 25th, or January 6th. And that's how we get from the biblical model Christmas Day on December 25th. So without further ado, Merry Christmas to everyone, and may you have a happy new year. God bless you all.